fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long, and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The players are ready to get started, and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. The match kicked off with both teams showing great enthusiasm and determination. Kosovo was eager to secure a victory and make their mark in the qualification campaign. Israel on the other hand, was equally motivated to earn a crucial away win. The first half saw a balanced exchange of possession, with both teams creating opportunities. Kosovo's attacking prowess was evident, and they were rewarded in the 41st minute when Milo Rashika found the back of the net. Rashika showcased exceptional skill and composure to capitalize on a defensive lapse by Israel. His well-placed shot beat the Israeli goalkeeper, giving Kosovo the lead. Israel attempted to mount a comeback but was unable to break through Kosovo's solid defense before the halftime whistle blew. The first half ended with Kosovo leading 1-0. The second half saw Israel increasing their intensity, desperately seeking an equalizer. They created several goal-scoring opportunities, but Kosovo's goalkeeper and defense proved to be resolute, denying Israel any chance to level the score. Kosovo, while more focused on maintaining their lead, also tried to extend their advantage with some counter-attacks. However, they were unable to find the back of the net again. As the match progressed, tensions rose, and both teams displayed exceptional sportsmanship and commitment to their respective causes. Despite their best efforts, Israel could not find the elusive goal, and the match ended with a victory in favor of Kosovo.